I'm working on a motion sensing floodlight that was on my house. It quit quit working, worked for about a year and then quit. And so I took it off the wall, brought it in and uh, set it on the bench and working to see what might be wrong. First thing I wanted to do is uh, I've got a power cord here that I've wired up to the uh, the system. I bypassed the, this is an infrared motion sensing switch. For now, I've bypassed that and uh, just want to test the power supply and the lights. So uh, this involves, uh, you know, 120 volts, which is lethal. So you have to be very careful when you're dealing with this. I, that's why I use a plug. I know that there's no power right now because it's, I have the other end of the plug in my hand. But uh, basically you hook uh, the black wire is the hot line, uh, the hot wire. That has 120 volts AC on it. I've got to run in, uh, connected into directly into the power supply. And the white wire is neutral and that runs into the other side of the power supply. And the ground here, the green is just running to the case. Uh, the power supply here in this case is uh, powered by 120 volts AC and converts the output to uh, 28 to 36 volts DC, which is not lethal. But the input line 120 volts AC is lethal and deadly, so be very careful when you handle these voltages. So I'm going to test this now just to see. I've got the plug here. I'm going to plug that in to the outlet. And sure enough, the power supply, conf confirm the power supply works, and all three floodlights are working. So I know the issue must be in this motion sensing switch. So I'll go ahead and disconnect the power to that. And so now I'm uh, turning my attention to this switch here. I've removed it from the device. The way it works, um, there's uh, three wires coming out of it. The white wire is just connected to all the other white wires in parallel. And it just, and the black wire here is actually would go to the black wire feeding from the power. So the power would be connected here coming in to the device. And this is basically a switch when it, detects motion, it uh, switches power on to the red wire. And so this red wire here would be connected to the black line going into the power supply. So that's how it would be connected if you uh, were gonna use this. So I've got, it's got two screws on the bottom. I've removed those and then there's a, there's a ring here that is sort of like a, it holds the two top and bottom together. You pry that back and it's like a, kind of like a clamshell design. So I can remove this and uh, sure enough, when I open it up, I see uh, rust and uh, corrosion inside. The, the circuit boards are have damaged components on it. It appears the, the um, water has come in from the bottom where this uh, dial is that, that controls this uh, potentiometer. It looks like water has somehow weeped up inside of it and uh, damaged all the parts. You can also see there's the, the a big re relay and there's the, there's the red wire coming off of it. That is uh, the relay actually switches the power onto this red line, which would feed into the power supply. So that's the problem with this. The uh, water is intruded in and damaged the motion sensing switch. So I can either just bypass that and uh, have it have this manually controlled, or try and find a uh, another motion switch. I'm going to go take a look at that now. But uh, in this case, the issue is pretty obvious. I didn't even need a voltmeter to determine what the issue was.